of all men's miseries, the bitterest is this. To know so much, and to have control over nothing. Great things are won by great dangers. It is better by noble boldness to run the risk of being subject to half of the evils we anticipate, than to remain in cowardly listlessness, for fear of what might happen. After all, no one is stupid enough to prefer war to peace. In peace, sons bury their fathers, and in war fathers bury their sons. If a man insisted on always being serious, and never allowed himself a bit of fun and relaxation, he would go mad, or become unstable without knowing it. The saddest aspect of life is that there is no one on earth whose happiness is such, that he won't sometimes wish he were dead rather than alive. Some men give up their designs, when they have almost reached the goal. While others, on the contrary, obtain a victory by exerting, at the last moment, more vigorous efforts than ever before. But this I know. If all mankind were to take their troubles, to mark it with the idea of exchanging them, anyone seeing what his neighbor's troubles were like, would be glad to go home with his own. The most hateful grief of all human griefs is this. To have knowledge of the truth, but no power over the event. The worst pain a man can suffer. To have insight into much, and power over nothing. Men trust their ears, less than their eyes. Force has no place where there is need of skill. In peace, children into their parents. War violates the order of nature and causes parents to into their children. Happiness is not fame or riches or heroic virtues, but a state that will inspire posterity to think in reflecting upon our life that it was the life they would wish to live. Great deeds are usually wrought at great risks. It is the greatest and the tallest of trees that the gods bring low with bolts and thunder. For the gods love to thwart whatever is greater than the rest, they do not suffer pride in anyone but themselves. Great wealth can make a man no happier than moderate means, unless he has the luck to continue in prosperity to the end. Many very rich men have been unfortunate, and many with a modest competence have had good luck. The former are better off than the latter, in two respects only. Whereas the poor but lucky man has the advantage in many ways. For though the rich have the means to satisfy their appetites and to bear calamities, and the poor have not, the poor if they are lucky are more likely to keep clear of trouble and will have besides the blessings of a sound body, health, freedom from trouble, fine children and good looks. Now if a man, thus favored, died as he has lived, he will be just the one you are looking for. The only sort of person who deserves to be called happy. But mark this. Until he is dead, keep the word happy in reserve. Till then, he is not happy, but only lucky. They made it plain to everyone, however, and above all to the king himself, that although he had plenty of troops, 
he did not have many men. The longer the span of someone's existence, the more certain he is to see and suffer much that he would rather have been spared. Human prosperity never abides long in the same place. I shall therefore discourse equally of both, convinced that human happiness never continues long in one stay. Great wealth, after all, is no more guaranteed to bring a man happiness than his daily subsistence, unless, that is, good fortune proves to be the rich man's constant companion, enabling him to keep all his blessings intact and bringing his life to a pleasant conclusion. Humans and prosperity never endure side by side for long. Most of those that were great once have since slumped into decline and those that used to be insignificant have risen within my own lifetime to rank as mighty powers. Success, for the most part, attends those who act boldly not those who weigh everything and are slack to venture. Far better it is to have a stout heart always and suffer one's share of evils than to be ever fearing what may happen. It is better to be envied than pity haste in every business brings failures.